no one quite makes an entrance like the Iroquois Nationals. After a 48-hour delay, the Iroquois Nationals finally arrived after a 10-hour flight from Toronto to Tel Aviv Thursday afternoon, only six hours in advance of their all-important game with the United States to open tournament play. For star player Jeremy Thompson, that meant he was just glad to be on Israeli soil. Walking through the doors was definitely an exciting feeling, and especially to open again, up and up against the U.S. You know, it's um, you know, no, no, other, no other better better feeling to open up against them. And just just from a cultural standpoint, you know, for us, kind of the point that we're coming from, you know, just purely as a uh, people's game, uh, you know, just the way the creator intended it to be, you know, bring nations together, communities together, and um, you know, really countries together. And so I think this is what it's all about here today. And like again, we're uh, we're thrilled to be here and excited to open up in tonight's game. For Iroquois Nationals general manager Scott Burnham, who put things into perspective. It, it, was, it was a really good feeling for us as soon as that plane, the, the wheels went up and the wheels came down. It was a great feeling for us. Um, you know, we started the, the journey on some of us on Sunday, um, most of us on Monday, and um, the, the exciting thing is it all came together and, and we ended up here. So um, we're just excited to get, get the uniforms on and, and suit up tonight. We'll probably have a light walk through today, um, see how they're feeling. And then, you know, you, you put the pads on tonight and you're ready to go. After a drive through heavy traffic in Tel Aviv, the team arrived at the hotel where they ate, took a quick nap before heading to Netanya Stadium for opening ceremonies in a big game in the United States. Despite all the trials, the adrenaline seemed to kick in early as they took a 3-0 lead and were stopping everything in sight. Even the crowd got behind them. But eventually, all that travel seemed to wear them down in the second half as the U.S. pulled away to win 17-9. Somehow, just somehow, however, it seemed like they had pulled off a spiritual win. So, so for us, obviously, the lacrosse is a gift from the creator, and it, it's a medicine game. So that, that's important to us when we come to any of these world championships to, to emphasize the, the importance and the, the, where the game came from. So when we're here in, in Israel, that, that's going to be as important as the actual game, you know, the, the, the meaning of, of what, it, what it means to us as a team. You know, bring a lacrosse uh, to another country, to another place, I, I feel in my heart, um, it's bringing peace in some way, whether if it's in spirit or if it's a simple action or word that we say, or if it's just by simply our, our play. Um, and that's something that you know that's you know truly to our dear, and you know something that we represent. We're truly honored to be here in that, in that aspect. The Iroquois Nationals have a saying: "Peace in medicine through lacrosse." It's a simple message that means it's more than a game. For the insider, this is Steve Brunner. Yeah.